remember bribery when I remember corruption. Aye, aye, what a run away me, aye. What a run away me, aye, oh, what a run away me, aye, oh. Aye, aye, what a run away me, aye. When I remember Yaradu, when I remember Stephen Biko. Aye, aye, what a run away me, aye. When I remember IGP, I remember DPO. Aye, aye. When I remember Kova Nigeria, aye, aye, what a run away me, aye. When I remember my mother, when I remember my father, oh. aye, aye, what a run away me, aye. When I remember Nigeria, when I remember how are you so, aye, aye, what a run away me, aye. When I... Don't, we can't shy away from the fact that people are afraid. When I came here as early as eight, I could see some people moving around. You know, people are like, okay, let's see if people will turn up. That is the mindset of majority of Lagosians. Or they are afraid that, okay, perhaps when they come out, the police is going to, you know, throw tear gas and all that. Well, I for one, I decided that regardless of what's happening, based on what he has said, injustice against one is injustice against all. That is why I came here. And we have to also, the media has to let the people know that. If fear will only limit, would not make us do the, what we need to do in order to stop all this injustice. Therefore, it's high time that all Nigerians in authority and out of authority stand up and speak out. It's a process. Um, the, the, the protest is a process because, I mean, this is the first time we've actually um, assembled as Nigerians on issues, of, on issues that has interest of individuals, not, I mean, probably at some point it's going to be collectively, that people have started coming out and people have started lending their voice. And for me, I am happy that I came out. I have personally not encountered them, but I've had friends that encountered them and I've seen them harassing people. Oh, are you, how much are you in support of this end star? So are you saying uh, reform stars? I'm categorically saying answers. The truth is that the generality of the Nigerian police is corrupt, we all know. But SAS is more like, there is an umbrella body where impunity now reigns. It's like giving, giving people power in the name of the police, then giving them absolute power in the name of SAS. So SAS believes they are not under the law, they believe they are above the law, they can do whatever they want and go scot-free, they harass anybody. So that's why we are saying end SAS, remove that absolute power. Remove that corruption, that umbrella on which, under which they have decided to operate with impunity. Remove it. We may have an anti-robbery squad later on. You may rename it whatever, but then we need it as it is to end before any other reformation or whatever. Reforming them should be an afterthought. First of all, end it as it is. We are no longer interested in the present constitution of SARS. End it. Then, if we need an anti-robbery squad later on. We can always recruit new people, retrain them and make sure that they are properly equipped and they understand the concept of fundamental human rights. But as it is, 2017, end SARS, it is, it is not negotiable. Some people of Nigeria, like we always do every time we have oppression, tyranny from those who have called themselves our leaders. I am from the professional world and I am just like everybody at home. I've seen police brutality and the injustice that has been carried upon the common people of Nigeria by the police and its apparatus. Personally, I've been harassed thrice by the SAS men. I'm a businessman that runs a company here in Lagos, in Nigeria. I'm an employer of labor. I have a staff of not less than 10 people working under me. Yet, they will harass us without any sort of pity. They extort, extort us. And the height of all was at the last one. I was on an emergency call from my family house. I got there. After solving the issue, I was stopped at the, at the, at the bus stop. I had a laptop and my car key with me. The questions I was being asked was, they need a receipt for the laptop I was holding. I was in, in the extreme of Lagos where I could even get it. And unfortunately, I had to call my mom down 
to come bribe them. Eventually, on her way back, she, she, she fell down and broke her wrist. This is personal. This must have been happening to several people all around the world, all around Nigeria, in several places who have no rights or no opportunity to come out and talk like I'm doing now. I'm calling on all, all well-meaning Nigerians who are professionals in their own field to also join us in this. This is not led for the ordinary men like organizers. I have a registered business here in Nigeria and I'm here to solidarize with the common people of Nigeria. We need a total reform of the police force, not just the scrapping of the SAS. We see SAS men gallivanting on social media who are meant to be, so, um, to, to be professionals in their field. You see gas, um, SAS men wearing jalabia with bedroom slippers and carrying rifles. You see SAS men in their uniform in, in, uh, in, in stations where they, they play bets, they play sports bets. You see SAS men sleeping on duty. You see policemen and in fact, we are not just even calling from the reform we are also calling from is that their pay and their welfare to be improved. How can a policeman that is risking his life be, be, be earning less than 40,000 or about 40,000 a month? He has about three kids. Go to their barracks. It's an eyesore. So it is not just that we are here today to look at the effects of what they have been doing. We need to go down to the source. Police is not supposed to be a force. It is supposed to be a service. Supposed to be a department, but here because of the neocolonial uh, mentality that is happening in our society, we still believe we can put people down, trample upon their rights, like we've been having for the past years in this country. It, is, it must end. And um, all of us who are here today from several organizations that have, we have united to stand against this rubbish, this menace in our society here today, we are resounding it as a sound of warning, as a sound of play, as a sound of hope that Nigeria must be great and we all must be partakers in this journey to greatness. Once again, I appeal to everyone sitting home, sitting at home, we were tear gas, we are tired, we are ambushed in Abuja when we went for a resume or, or resign. We are here today, we will not be tired, we are, we are fearless and if it's death, let death take us. This Nigeria must be great. My parents and their, and their colleagues, they tried, they did the bit they could do. For us, that's why I'm here today. I'm doing this for my generation unborn. And if they claim somebody from Jerusalem died for them, and they can shout his name today as Jesus Christ that died for them, I want to die for my generation. Now, one thing we won't talk now. We won't. We don't want this as again. May they just end down. Shake they hear me. May they end this as. Nobody say. May they talk. Say may they reform them. Nothing like reforming, you know. May they just end them. Now, what thing we won't be that. May they bring back our police. We know as we decide to. We be student too. Oh. Even though we dey do yahoo yahoo, she na dey papa get money ni. Eh? She na dey papa get money where we dey collect. I be we know hear the history. When we say all those on you they then carry our papa for slave. She dey hear me. My people dey for US. My people dey for America. Oh. She dey hear me ba. See where they be say, may they just send this ass for us. What we now? What we need be that? May they end this ass. We don't want them again. My junior brother last two weeks, then carry on. Then collect like 120,000 for his hand. In school fees, they, they collect them. For where you want me to start? How they want to take advice or say me will go to school? When we say our brother's day house, they don't serve now since six years ago. They don't see job, no work, nothing, nothing. So we are earning money online. How could them export us to quit this? So, what we want to say, may they just end the SARS. We know, last five years, last six years, we know you're waiting the SARS now. We, SARS no day now. Even though they're day, you know, we say that they walk up on the street, they carry students anyhow now. So, we want maybe say, may they end that for us. We don't want them again. May them collect their clothes. And this SARS, I saw being one of them, one of them, a prisoner. I saw being a weller, and a prisoner. I don't know how you can't take the SARS again, you know, where they handle guns, you know, here and there, where they collect money. Where they do for ATM, if they stand for ATM like this, they carry people. Anybody, where be student, if you don't wear Gucci, carry your phone, carry your iPhone, you go, oh, you say you be, you, you, you be Yahoo, Yahoo. If people come outside, say, ah, how you know, how you take me, say this boy, now Yahoo, Yahoo. He go talk, he go change and say, not thief. Say, you know, I'm saying, not thief. Imagine that kind of rubbish. So, we don't want this thing again. May they just end up for us. I beg. I'm here to support. This uh, protest and SARS, enough of this emulation against Nigerian youth. 
it's not only here in Lagos, we are calling on every youth in every part of this country to also start trending on this. Because the humiliation against Nigerian youth is unbearable again. That is why we are here today in mass and we are calling on other Nigerian youth to come out because if you can see the crowd here, in fact, it's not encouraging. And we are here, we are advocating for more than 70 million youth that are voiceless in Nigeria here today. And we are calling on federal government, we are calling on police commission to end SARS, to reorientate them. Because we actually discovered that some police division impersonate SARS. Most of them call themselves raiders, anti-robbery, and they are not federal SARS. And we know the way federal SARS handle issue. So they should be reorientated. We are not saying we don't need security in this country. We are not saying we are against security personnel in this country. But we are telling them that we, enough, we are, we are telling them that they they should stop this harassment against Nigerian youth. We are not telling them that we want to end SARS, that there should not be division like SARS, but they should be reorientated. They should stop emulating youth. They should know that we are in a techie world now. We are in a techie world where everybody moves with laptop, iPhone, and all sorts of phone. Some people, due to unemployment, they are into digital marketing. They have to move with all these materials anywhere they go. For Some people are bloggers today because of the suffering in Nigeria today. And you can't just ask them to come out with their receipts and other things. And we are calling on international media like Al Jazeera that have supported us in the past to train this on AJ stream. They should continue so that Amnesty International, other organizations will support us to end this simulation. And again, we are telling the government, especially President Muhammad Buhari, if it doesn't end SARS, 2019 we are going to end Buhari administration as well. We will come out in mass not to end SARS again, but to end Buhari's administration if he cannot end this humility, this harassment against Nigerian youth. So many of them, we do not understand how they were recruited into the force. One of them, your missus was, I, I watched this video this morning, I don't know if you also saw that. that. Imagine that your missus, your missus, your missus, your missus, your missus, Pegasus, Pegasus. We all come from different backgrounds. That's what unites us. We all know life is about freedom of choice. And money transfer should be the same way. Introducing MoneyGram my way. Send and receive money just about anywhere, using whatever method that works best for you. Are we going to be safe in Bo 
police respect the rights of the citizens of this country. It's time to law enforcement officials, law enforcement agencies respect the fundamental human rights of Nigeria. We can no longer tolerate this brutality. We can no longer tolerate this inhuman treatment that is being meted out to young Nigerians. April 4, 2017. I've been crying for this justice for over eight months that the government should come to our aid. The former CP came to my residence to promise that they will apprehend the guy. But luckily, the guy is still. Yes, they were exalted in Yahuga. That's April 4, 2017. That's justice for Kudi. So they came there to a lot of police station. From they were harassing people. And my mom was just selling a normal biscuit. Yes, emotion here. So we were just shooting sporadically and the boy she bullet met my mom and she died instantly. Up till now, nothing has been done from the police office. They've not released any press release, they've not even said anything. So the what Ayomi was saying the other time on Al Jazeera, we just lie. Flawless. The former CP promised us that he would help us to apprehend the guy. So one of them, Abayomi, I buy Abayomi, at Niger Pastor. So at Niger Pastor. Yeah, justice for Kudi, that's the hashtag for my mom. So they came. Since then, our lawyer has been visiting the CP office, the new CP, he said he's new in the office. Later, he went again, he said they are still investigating. Up till now, what are they investigating? So, what your me was saying on AG stream the other day is just flawless lie. They have the bullet, we have the sample with the doctor, with our lawyers, of the bullet, the shell we picked up that day. So, if truly they want to end SARS, if they can't end SARS, they want to reform SARS. They just give me justice for my mom. Let us know at length. The guy, one of the guys, is still at large. He's chi boy. He's still at large. People are still seeing him around harassing. So what the CP said that he they've dismissed them. I was not carried along at all at all. Likewise, my lawyer was carried along on that case. We are not saying answers. If they can't answers, they should reform this as there should be a disciplinary committee. I will tell you that the OC, that's the OC of that is um, in search of SAS, is not investigating because they bribe him. They will give him return. So what can he say? The other day I went to Ikeja Division. You see them, they drink. They have shine, or what I call it, idol. They put, they worship, and they will drink. So they just come, they will come with us, they just harass anybody anyhow. So what I'm saying is I want justice for my own mom. I want at what level they can go. We have the evidence with our doctor. They should just even just reply that yes, they acknowledge this is what, and they should meet with the family. Okay, family, let us negotiate. If we wish they should kill 100 stars, he cannot revive my mom. But if we can't stop it now, if he beat you, if he be anybody, so let us stand together in one voice. That's why I'm crying now. I want my own mom case to be settled. Let, us call, let them call the family and see what we can do and reach a beautiful agreement. But when you keep to hide behind the carpet, we can't get anything. If I can't fight for the justice now, somebody else will do. And it's a pity they will, until, they, say until they kill this son of the Senate president or the president. That's when they come out. Because we are poor, we are helpless, I don't have voice. So how can you not help me? So I'm pleading on the Nigerian government, the police commission to please even just say one thing about this mom, my mom, and let us know where we are going. If they can't end SARS, they should please reform SARS. I think uh, the end SARS thing is just a catchy phrase. It's just the tagline. The main thing is for them to, to end the brutality. You know, every Nigerian has their own right. And what we are asking for is they should respect our rights. When they violate our rights, it means that the, 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 our, our, our right that is being protected by the constitution is being breached. So we have the right to come out and say we want a stop to it. But to my own approach, I think answers is not really the answer. They need to reform the police. What I, what I will really advise is reformation and they should respect citizens. We are not animals. We are not slaves. The first PR has said that if they hand SARS, uh, I'm robbery we come to court. Do you really think that is correct? Well, I, the thing is this. If, if they end the SARS today, what would they use it? What would they replace it with? The SARS to chase the criminals. With the youth, we are not criminals. So anyhow they want to do it, what we are asking for is justice for the victims. The way they are brutalizing our youth, they are demonizing our youth, we are not criminals. They should chase the real criminals. So if they are not going to end the SARS, they should rehabilitate their officers. Some of them, they are crazy. Yes, it's only madman that will see an innocent youth wear dress and say the person is an Arab and just shoot the person. It's crazy. <laughs> Oh, my God.
My name is Oji. Um, over the years, we've been hearing about um, the menace of this group called SAS. How they keep harassing youth, how they keep harassing young people, successful young people. Um, we've been hearing of how they've been intimidating and trying to subdue every young Nigerian. So we're actually here to make the government know that we're tired and we want them to either end. For me, I'm actually all for ending the SAS, but we are just here to just um, tell the government that we want them to end this group called SAS. Yes, uh, I'm supporting the protest strongly and uh, I feel uh, we should have a reforms in the police, not only SAS, hence SAS one, then reforms, total reform in the police system. It's so sad that when you go into any of the police stations and uh, the way they conduct their businesses, it's just like going into a commercial premises for everything you need to do you need to pay as a uh, as small as stationary it's it's so bad uh, maybe the fund the problem is from the government that's what they tell us when we go there I've been in a situation where I had to visit police station uh, on, on a critical case where I expect empathy from the Nigerian police force but nobody not just one person showed em empathy I the missing person and I'm being asked to pay from my nose just because I went to report a missing case, a, a, a case of a missing person. It's so sad that that that's, that's the situation we find ourselves in Nigeria. Basically, the officers too are not well treated. The welfare is so poor. The salaries are poor. You, they are as good as beggars. And the SAS guys, because they have guns, they are taking advantage of people and using the gun to intimidate and harass citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Yes, uh, we expect the government to have said something since uh, seven days. And uh, unfortunately, uh, we've not heard anything from the president or the vice president. Fortunately, the guy is going to Paris today. So we expect the vice president, which seems to be very proactive and uh, has his ears on ground, to say something. Uh, it's, it's really sad that we have a government that have seen the hashtag all the prominent people in Nigeria has actually uh, 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 been on the hashtag and uh, these guys are not bulging. They are not saying anything. Yes, we saw the police saying uh, they want to reform. Yes, they will send security agents here. They will, they will speak nicely. They will talk to us. They will behave as if they, they are changed. But we know, just here, right here, we had some uh, people talking about arrest just in front of uh, Seven Up. Why? Because a guy wants to come to the rally. They will come here and they will look, they will look nice to us. That, that's what they are trying to do. Cosmetic. So for United, NSAS, Kwapa. Yes, NSAS, Reform Police. Hey, I mentioned your mean Shogun Lestate. I tweet PCRUC. Nobody never responds to the That one I fabricated. No. no I, I screenshot everything to them. He never responds. That one I fabricated. No. Truth of the matter. If to say na SP picking to inside this matter. If to say na their family of the minister na he get king. All the harass. They go talk. Because I don't get money, I don't get family. Because I don't. I don't get people. They say na fabricated. We are here to do what? I won't make it a leader, make him tell me, make him reply now. They go. Reply my post, reply my comment. If you call your number, you know they go. If you call up, busy, busy. That one I fabricated. No. I know they fight, I know they for violence. So if I no stand up today, now so they go, they kill us one by one. Yes. And it must work. Stop. It must work. Stop. So leader. We all come from different backgrounds. That's what unites us. We all know life is about freedom of choice. 
and money transfer should be the same way. Introducing MoneyGram My Way. Send and receive money just about anywhere, using whatever method that works best for you.